Dustin with ProAV School here. Just wanted to show how to set up a Crestron connected display to a Crestron program. So I'm web browsed into this projector. I had to go into the setup menu from the unit and set an IP address. And it's actually connected just via digital, digital link to a DMPS 3-300-C. So I'm seeing it on my, my computer network because I'm on that network. Um, default password to get in here is admin1 and username and password is Panasonic lowercase. You can find that in manuals, but it took me for a while to, to hunt it down and search, so I just wanted to say what it was. And that's default. Um, Crestron connected here. That's what I need to do. Actually launches like an X panel that's part of the Crestron connected stuff. And you can go through and change, change inputs on the device and stuff like that. What I'm most interested in here is tools. And this is where you need to do the control system. So 192.168.1.100 is what I set my processor up as. IP ID is defined in the program. I can't really show that it's in a different window, but in this one case it's 07. So go send. Update complete. And I'm just going to pause here, rearrange my windows, and I'll show you the result. So just resuming here, this is a console putty window to my processor, and it's running, the program that I want is running in uh, slot 2, so I'll just redo this command, so ipt-p colon program 2, and 07 is what we set, and it says it's online. So now we'll be able to control it via the room view connected display symbol in my simple program. So pretty simple to do, no pun intended, but kind of complicated if you don't have, first of all, the password and username, which I got locked out quite a few times before I could find it. And then second of all, kind of an understanding of being on the same IP network by plugging in the digital link. Um, even though it's DM on the project or on the DMPS side, it's carrying that Ethernet control over. And then in your program, you have to have a room view connected display symbol with IP ID. And then you set that and I've heard that you have to have it in a lower range, otherwise the interpretation of hex to decimal kind of gets messed up. So if you can keep it below 10, then you're probably going to have less problems. Um, that's all I've got for now. Thanks.